Okay, so before we start the project, we need to make project preparation. So here is my Sprutcam uh, window, some random machine selected by default. So I will double click on the machine here, being on the machining tab. Here, this window can open on this tab. So uh, be, be sure to switch to machines tab. And here in the search field, I will type max turn 65. That's it. This, this is the machine I'm going to use for the current uh, project okay nice next i need to load the tools you can see that i already have tools here but if uh, you didn't it's, it's because i have already done this um, project on this uh, split cam installation so you didn't and you need to load uh, the tools so in order to load the tools i hover this tools button on top and press import tools to the project so along with the project, you will have this uh, downloadable file, uh, not tools.tom. So this is the tool set which we use in this project. When you uh, upload it, you will see that here are the tools, project tools, uh, which will be used for the project. Okay, nice. Next, I will import the model. So I switch to the model tab, press import. And here I have my not 3dm file that's it looks like this and uh, then i will switch to the machining tab and we need to make a setup so first of all let's make workpiece setup so i'm not creating setup stages right now because all setup settings can be done in the machine if you make uh, only one uh, the project with the only one setup you don't need to create a setup so it's we, we made it just for convenience and not to make user create some instances uh, and make your life a little bit easier but when we will make second setup we will create first first setup then we will create second setup and all the setup settings will be transferred from the machine to the setup here automatically so it's not a problem also so i will make my workpiece setup like this let's turn it a little bit okay and let's say we will have 245 okay g54 is fine so i will not touch it now next i will make the workpiece so i switch to workpiece tab and press primitive i will choose uh, here i will choose uh, cylinder and now i need to select the axis so you can see several coordinate systems on the screen here here which are the same g54 and here is another uh, coordinate system so how to how to uh, tell what coordinate system are you going to use split is going to use when you will select this axis so uh, when uh, we talk about the workpiece split is using geometry coordinate system which was imported with the geometry file with the 3d model file i mean so and this geometry uh, coordinate system is this big one okay not the g54 one obviously the but the big one and we can see that along the axis there is y axis uh, set so i need to make my uh, cylinder axis along y like this and now i will add some stock uh, in all directions after that i will turn off same stock toggle and make positive axial stock let's say 50 millimeters let's check what we have okay this is this is good okay close uh, sorry i have uh, added two work pieces uh, by accident it's not a problem i will delete one of them okay so here we have everything set almost everything so now i will go back to setup and i need to set the position of the jaws so i can do it manually you can see that here uh, the jaws are snapping nicely to the workpiece which is good i think and here we have jaws position yeah but we also have jaws position here this ones and this position is 100 this is 82 so they are different and if i will for example i move them, them like this but now in setup uh this number is cell, uh, defined so it's not not 82 so if i create a new operation 
uh, all the numbers will be taken from here, but not from here. In order to transfer this number from um, this editing, like say, let's say screen here to the inspector, I need to double click on this uh, parameter like this and the information is transferred automatically. So make sure to do this every time. I think it's a usable feature. Okay, and a few more things. Uh, first of all, I will go to links and here I have approach and return rules and also tool change position, which are very um, important for the for this complex military machine. So first of all, I will change approach rule so you can do it manually from here, but I will just type in uh, right here. I will make such a rule. I will tell you what it makes what it means. So um, this means that first the machine is moving along Z axis and then machine is moving along X axis. For return we make opposite. We make first along X and then along Z. If I uh, make it like this for example then it means that machine will move along Z and X axis simultaneously. I don't need this currently, so I will put um, this uh, sign to, to define subsequent movements. Okay, and here we have tool change position, which is also customizable. So you can select it uh, as you wish, but I will leave it like this for the project. Okay, uh, nice. So the project preparation is done. Uh, we can start making a project, so see you in the next video.